Hello everyone, I'm Ibrahim, I'm from Turkey, I'm attending from Bursa Technical University. To introduce a study named as Topology Optimization and Fatigue Analysis of a Lifting Hook. Lifting hooks are commonly used in construction sites, transport centers for lifting and placing heavier weight objects. With the increase of load capacity of a lifting hook, its dimensions become bigger and also its weight heavier. The increased weight means material cost. That's why optimization is a must when designing a lifting hook. In this study, we investigated the possibility of applying topology optimization to a standard lifting hook under static loading. The study also includes fatigue analysis of standard and newly generated models. So, let's get into the study. Static analysis of the standard lifting hook is made. The loading capacity is 5 tons. The material used structural steel. Its young modulus is 2.05 E5 megapascal and its Poisson's ratio is 0.3. Finite element used in analysis is 3D 10 knot tetrahedron. And the boundary conditions are fixed support at the shaft, the force is 49,050 newtons. The result of the topology optimization under static loading is shown here. In the result, we can see red areas. These are the removed ones. And according to this result, we created three different models. The three generated models can be seen here. The first optimized, the second optimized, and the third optimized models. Static analysis results of the models are shown here. The first and the second optimized models stress values are increased by 30% and the third optimized models stress values are decreased by 1%. And for the first and the second optimized model it is not a desired situation because in optimization problems it is desired to be the stress values is less than or at least equal to the original one. Fatigue analysis results are shown. As you can see, the life of the minimum life value of the standard model is 17,000 cycles and it is taken as design life for other models. And for other models, damage values and safety factor values are shown Damage values are found by design life over life, and if it is bigger than 1, it means it will fail before the design life reached, and safety factor has to be bigger than 1, of course. The first optimized model's results are shown here, and as you can see, its life is less than the original one, and because of that, the damage value is bigger than 1 and the safety factor is less than 1. And it will fail, we can say it will fail before the design life reached. The second optimized model's results are similar to the first one. Its life is less than the standard model. And of course, because of that, its damage value is bigger than 1 and the safety factor is less than 1. This means it will fail before the design life be determined as 17,000 cycles reached. For the third optimized model's fatigue analysis results, it can be said it is slightly better than the original one. Its life value is a little bit more than the standard model and because of that the damage value is less than 1 and the safety factor is bigger than 1. It means it will not fail before the design life reached that we've determined as 
17,000 cycles. Coming to the conclusion, among these studies, the third optimized model is the best, we can say. And the third optimized model is 285 grams less than the standard model. And it can be said it is a cost-effective design. Actually, it was our goal to have a lightweight design. Consequently, opening holes to the back of the maximum stress area and to the back of the load area decreased the fatigue life of the hoops approximately by 70%. Finally, we can say topology optimization is a powerful tool that can be used for lightweight hoop design. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.